This document is about calculating the sensitivity of uncertainties in final results to the uncertainties in individual quantities. So, whenever quantities are measured, they have uncertainties with them. When calculations are performed involving these quantities, then the results have uncertainty as well. When you discuss the sources of uncertainty in an experiment, it's important to recognize which ones contributed most to the uncertainty in the final result. So in order to figure this out, here's what you do. Write out the equation for the uncertainty in the result using whatever method you like. For each of the quantities in the equation which have an uncertainty, calculate the uncertainty in the result which you would get if all of the other uncertainties were zero. Arrange these quantities in descending order based on the size of the uncertainties calculated. So the higher in the list a quantity is, the greater its contribution to the total uncertainty. So for example, suppose we have a function of two variables. h of w and z equals the square root of w over z squared. So by inspection, the uncertainty in h is h max minus h, which is the square root of w plus w delta w over z minus delta z all squared minus the square root of w over z squared. So we can compute this proportion of delta h that comes from w by getting rid of, by setting delta z to zero. And we can compute the proportion of delta h that comes from z by setting delta w to zero. So notice that in this first equation, all the delta z terms have gone away because we've made it zero. And in the second equation, all of the delta w terms have gone away because we've made delta w be zero. So here it is using the algebraic method. So the same function. So by algebra, this is the equation that we get for the uncertainty. So delta hw is where we set delta z to be zero, so this term goes away. And delta hz is where we make delta w be zero, so this term goes away. Notice that until you plug values into these equations, you can't tell which uncertainty contribution is bigger. So, in this example, if we use values of w is 1 plus or minus 0 0.01, and z is 2 plus or minus 0 0.02, then the proportional uncertainties in both w and z are the same, 1%. However, using either inspection or the algebraic method, the uncertainty in h is about 0 0.006, but delta hw is 0 0.001, while delta hz is about 0 0.005. In other words, the uncertainty in the result due to delta z is five times the uncertainty due to delta w. As you get more used to uncertainty calculations, you should realize that this is because z is raised to a higher power than w, and so its uncertainty counts for more. So, in order to improve this experiment, it would be more important to try and reduce delta z than it would be to try and reduce delta w. So here's the math. So by algebra, here's the equation with the values plugged in. Here's the equation for the uncertainty. So the uncertainty delta h is 0 0.00625. The proportion that come, that is due to w is 0 0.00125 and the proportion due to z is 0 0.005. By inspection, it looks like this. So the equation for delta h is this. So delta hw is 0 0.001, and delta hz is again 0 0.005. So, all measurements have uncertainties. Because of this, all calculated results have uncertainties. And when you discuss the sources of uncertainty in an experiment, it's important to recognize which ones contributed most to the uncertainty in the final result.